like bend down when the you know, the urinals right in front of him, so he just <laughs> hits his head and knocks his freaking head. All right, off. that that's how we're starting, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I hit my head so much I hit my uh my urinal. <laughs> I hit my head off. Yeah, dude, your urinal. Hey man, so we go talk movies. We talk in Oscars and Broly. That's actually it. So <laughs> we're just talking about one movie and then a bunch of other movies in the Oscar nominations. Mm-hmm. I'm Gore. Also, yeah, there you go. Uh, I got I'm it. Adrian. I'm I'm Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> the camera? Are you up? sure about that? That's like the little kid smile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can't. We you you hid yourself from us, so that way we can't call you out for how homeless you look. <laughs> 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 Camera's right. hidden. Well, everyone else can see, so yeah. Oh, everybody well, else. Well, it, it also he, might he, be he just but as naked right now. He's like, yeah. <laughs> it also might have been last time he was on a webcam. Me and Chris went in on him, and he looked like the fucking caveman from a Geico commercial. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, the Abraham Lincoln beard going on. But uh, all right. So for now on, no trash on Kyle. Let's just talk. Let's we're, just trash uh, on the Oscars. We're gonna. <laughs> uh, um... <laughs> Have it probably this is gonna be the last time it's recorded this way. We'll probably have a slightly different format, not too different, but slightly different format next week. Just because we're gonna all try to record it on our own side and see how that improves it. But, uh, I, um, I agreed at first when you said this is the last time. Yeah, this is the last time. <laughs> this, this is the end. end. This is it. <laughs> so, yeah. So we're just gonna talk about Broly really quick, and then yeah. So we'll we'll mention for next week. We have a uh, fire. And that's the Netflix one. What, what was it, the Hulu one called? Fire, Fire Fraud. Fire, Fire Fraud. Yeah, I I I want to I want to boot up my Hulu free trial just to watch that because I heard they're both good. But, yeah. Uh, well, the, uh, I know the watch Hulu Fire. one. Hulu they actually shelled out the money to actually interview Billy about it. <laughs> but the Netflix one is the more popular one, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That it, that makes sense. Because I, I didn't even know there was a Hulu one for a while. We're gonna watch the one from Netflix though, and and maybe if I watch it in time, I'll bring up the Hulu one. But I think I'm gonna be the only one that does that. Uh, no, watch... I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I'll okay. watch it. I'll, I'll watch it eventually. We'll watch. Uh, we're gonna talk about Bandersnatch because I think uh, Chris and Kyle are the only ones that haven't seen that yet. So we'll talk about mm-hmm. that. Uh, gonna watch. Or we're gonna talk about Serenity next week. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and talk... are there any other movies we're gonna probably knock out next week? Miss uh, Ball. Or... Yeah, Miss Paula. <laughs> <laughs> no, this weekend I I want to see uh, oh, what's coming out this weekend. Uh, oh, um, they shall not grow old. I really want to see that. Not oh, that. Yeah, we can't talk oh, about that. the Peter Jackson. Documentary. Yeah, the, the war yeah. one where they they take all the World War One footage. And oh, okay. Make it make it sick. Yeah. So, Put in three D. Yeah, I saw that for uh, yeah. right before Christmas. That trailer's so great, but then at the end it's just like the Great War. In 3D, I'm like. Oh. <laughs> so also, I'm gonna. I'm Such gonna a mention, good trailer, and it's like in 3D. I'm like, ah. I'm gonna I'm mention. Really so, the reason. So, green. this could be the last episode too that we are also posting. I think we don't know what day we're gonna post this on. Uh, we're gonna try to post these on Mondays from now on, just because I've been fucking traveling everywhere, so I can't keep up with this. Right. But Mondays from now on, and we'll also talk box offices. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. yeah. In yeah. these episodes from now on, so that'll be something we're gonna bring up this next episode as well. Yeah. So hopefully we'll record on Sundays and post it up Mondays, um, but we'll go from there. But anyway, so yeah, just Broly. We're talking nominations. Maybe we can probably touch on Escape Room for a second. Probably not. We'll see. Who cares? Um, <laughs> but, it's a good philosophy to have. So to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I, I think nominations are definitely take up the, the massive bulk mm-hmm. of this episode. So let's let's talk. Speaking of bulk, let's talk Broly. Yeah, <laughs> my man. <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> nice segue. Nice. So, you guys, you guys are all like big Dragon Ball fans, yep. right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not, yeah. Okay, I I haven't seen this fucking series in <laughs> probably like o- over a decade. Um, I've been wanting to. I was talking to Chris a lot during his last Black Friday because uh, the full series went on sale a couple times for like 120 bucks, I think, oh, for man. the full Dragon Ball Z deal. series. Yeah. And I really wanted it. I had it in my cart, and there was like I think one time I probably went check out and immediately just canceled it because it was one of those like impulse purchases where like I do I want it? It's a lot of money. But then as much as I wanted it, I was like, man, there's a lot of filler, and there's like fucking way too many episodes. And I'm like, I'm never gonna watch all this. So I well, even honestly, get through a movie. honestly, just advice: if you are gonna do that, you should watch uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah that's basically a... redid the series and just cut out all the filler. 
Right, so that, that's what no, we're Adrian, talking about. Where Adrian, like, I think the whole the freeze filler. battle is like five <laughs> the episodes. filler. The filler is the best. The filler is the show. That's what makes the, the show. Best. You want to see Goku what? driving a car with Piccolo? You're not going to get that in Kai. <laughs> You're not going to get that in Kai. Yeah. Come on, that that's the best episode. That is the best episode. No, I, I, I actually, I was, I was like, <laughs> I Piccolo had, like, with a hat on. I remember yeah, that. I had like a so mini good. poll going with like, with like four or five of my friends that all like Dragon Ball. I was like, what should I do? And some of them were like. Yo, you just just get Kai, and they were like, "No." Nah, yeah, I mean, but, but then I also heard the, the the DBZ box set was a little like it, the dubbing was weird. Like you always hear that with some shit. Yeah, like I heard that. the quality is not the gr- the greatest. Yeah, on the, so, which yeah. sucks. But um, so I, I decided to wait. I, mean, I might end up getting Kai because I I don't have time for. I still have just I watch the Kai. fucking Samurai Jack. I saw the Samurai Jack box set that that's like way priority ahead of Dragon Ball. <laughs> right, right, but right. um, but so but I do know the basics of it. Like I I still watched it when I was mm-hmm. growing up. Yeah. So I know, I know, I know, like the basics, who's who. It's just been a while, but uh, I will. I'll just jump in and say that I think that it was a very accessible movie. I feel like it. It. Whenever I thought of it, when I, because I think, what did I get? What was that? What was the resurrection one? What was that called? Resurrection, resurrection F. F. Resurrection F. Yeah. So I think I bought that one recently on Black Friday too. But uh, I feel like those kind of movies are less accessible. I think are they? Yeah. They so, they are because they kind of. Hope you know a lot about the background yes. of Dragon Ball, yeah. which this does uh, kind of, but not not really. Enough where it feels it, like it, you know what it, it, it feels like. It feels like like the Last Avengers, where right. I don't think you need to see all of those other ones to get what's going on here, because it's kind of its own self-contained thing. Except for some characters, you you just won't you won't know their backstory, but you you know who they are from this movie. Um, just, Bat- just Battle from... of Gods didn't need that too much with Resurrection of F. Yeah, because yeah. like I mean like Battle for God. the most I think part, way too corny. And uh, oh, Battle of Gods is great. For the most part, Sorry. I think the fact that it started with an origin story was good. Um, I think just the, I think like the only little issues were like yeah I didn't know like a couple of the characters but I mean I still recognize them just I did never actually learn about them. Um, There's a couple of in this too. Like they're, they're I, just completely. But uh, yeah, I thought it was super accessible, and I thought it was well paced, and I, I think they did a really good job. At like, I I feel like this one got advertised infinitely more than like past Dragon Ball. Yeah, because got Broly, a lot more money. Yeah, well, been... it, it, this was this was a big one. Like the the main reason they shut that they stopped the super was because they took everyone that was working on the anime and brought all of them over to work on the movie. Yeah, so it's they literally stopped production on the anime just for this. So if this movie didn't go well, it, it really would have mm-hmm. screwed them. Yeah, and Broly has been kind of a joke for a little while. Oh, God. Um, he's always been a joke, really. Really? Like, yeah, because... Yeah, because he's just like this big monster yeah. guy that's evil. Yeah. And they, they didn't do that here for that, which they, is humanized them. Yeah, yeah, so in the 90s, there were three Broly movies... Yeah. And the best. and they were probably my least <laughs> honestly probably my least favorite of the Dragon Ball because I've seen like everything Dragon Ball related sure. before Super and b- like Bio Broly and shit like that because the problem with Broly originally and what they fix with uh, Super Broly is that Broly originally was just a really big stupid dumb meathead yeah. and there was like no real character to him he's just like oh there's another saying that's it like there's nothing special about him he's just really fucking big and he takes a lot of hits i guess he's big yeah he's 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 beefy he's the beefiest yeah, yeah. especially yeah. when he gets really powered up he gets even beefier yeah well so with with, with that said uh let's let's get impressions going and we're yeah obviously we're gonna go spoilers with this yeah who so wants to go get off we're going. We're going. We should go left to right. So okay, who's left to right? Well, yeah. Gore, <laughs> Gore, Gore, Ad, Gore, Adrian, Casey, me. Okay. Right. Uh, I really enjoyed. It. I saw it twice actually. I, I originally I wasn't going to, but AMC A list just said, "Ah, screw you, you can see it now." Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On Sunday they said, "Screw it, just go see it." I was how, like, All right. how'd, that, how'd that happen? I don't know. They because, just let me see it. Because, I think it's because it was just out after a week of uh, the special the Fathom screen, Events so they, thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's not a Fathom Event anymore. I think it's just... A, gonna, no, it was, it was only the first week was. I'm yeah, going to go so. look at that, because I, I, that, that sucks. If I knew that, I would have probably actually watched Serenity in time, because I didn't want to walk... I didn't want to go to... I went to a different theater for this. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Deeper. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that was on Sunday, though, so it could have just been like, uh, eh, they didn't notice that th- today this one screening shouldn't be a... Uh, no, you're, be, I think you're right, because I don't see... Uh, 
it's the it's still program. playing at my theater. It's originally supposed to be like a two night event. Um, yeah, you're right. But Fuck. it sold out. Yeah. But it sold yeah. out those every, times. Every time one of these happens, it always ends up being like way longer than two or three or four days. Like even the My Hero movies, it's yeah. like ah, fuck. Yeah, because that, they that, make that, a that, decent that. amount of money. Especially this one has been yeah. killing the box yeah. office both here and Japan. Yep. This one did better than a dog movie in its first weekend. <laughs> right. Which I mean, no dogs. Yeah, snow dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it did better than snow dogs. Uh, oh, I know, I know. In Japan, like the first four days, it did like thirty million. Oh yeah, that's Japan. But like, still, like Battle of Gods and Resurrection F were like event movies for super fans. Well, compared uh, to that's, this, that's what I felt. Yeah. Compared this to Resurrection yeah. F, Resurrection F, I think made like nine million altogether. This one has already passed, I think, thirty million. So yeah. domestic. And, still, and yeah, domestic. And it's still doing well. Yeah, it's like, still it's, playing at my theater. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm just gonna say probably the next one is just gonna be a regular like this is gonna release it in theaters, not as a special thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I think yeah. they it would just be better if they just released it because there's an audience for it. Definitely, it doesn't cost that much. It's like what maybe ten. Well, million. I, I think they were saying the next one they were aiming to be like an actual like Saiyan origin film, so that might be. It, it might keep it special be since it's not gonna have a lot of recognizable like characters. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's got to be something very, that's super accessible. Yeah, I mean, this one really was. I mean, in the yep. beginning, it just tells you both backstories of uh, Goku with Bardock. Right. And, which, course, and, and, like I said, I don't really need that, but it was nice to get like kind of a reflector. Nice see that because I mean, even even if you do know uh, Dragon Ball Z, but you know, you're not like really in depth with the, uh, you know, just any information about it. Uh, you just watched it, and, and you you liked it when you were a kid. Um, I think you'd still be okay with, like, where you are now, even if you didn't watch Super. Like, they only referenced, like, one thing from Super, which is, like, that Tournament of Power thing. Yeah. And that was so quick. It was just like, okay, there, there yeah. was a tournament. Oh, but a big surprise. Dragon Ball Z had a tournament. Like, <laughs> no way. Um, which actually was, like, one of the best arcs they've ever done. It's really good. I just, I want to wait until the, because I like the... The I dub really, is apparently out in some capacity. I, no, mo, no, no, the, the no. dub's only up to the actual tournament. Yeah, which oh. I really want to watch the dub because that's my favorite. I mean, I like the Japanese uh, dub, I guess. The dub is but, great. Uh, I love Goku and Vegeta's voice. I love, yeah, I love all the voice actors. They do a great job. Um, so even though half of them are Chris, uh, uh, yeah, Sabbath. it's uh, it's Piccolo, uh, the Dragon, freaking Vegeta, <laughs> all the same voice actor. King Kai, I am. Uh, <laughs> well. If he's good, might as well. Um, but yeah, everybody's great. So uh, anyway, this, this movie was a lot of fun. It really oh, was like yeah. the beginning, all the origins. I actually really like that they finally showed because they showed her in the man manga, manga, however you pronounce it. Uh, but like Goku's mom and stuff, like all these little things. Oh yeah, this they... this was that was a big thing. Was a lot yeah. they retconned and added a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah I like retcon stuff. I really do. Yeah. Even though now it now it's even closer to Superman's origin story, which I found <laughs> really. <laughs> Like oh, our planet's gonna blow up. Uh, we gotta Dude, stay here. That, See you that, later. So so. Audio. Did they ever show like um, Vegeta getting destroyed? Yeah, yeah. They showed it. They did. Before. They yeah, okay, they because they, this is this is pretty brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. And, uh, and Freeze's just like, all right, there you go. Yeah, and then you know, that's the thing. I think that also part of that is uh, some of that will be shown on like the DVDs deleted because it it just showed the end of Brawly fighting it didn't show uh not Brawly uh Bardock fighting fighting yeah so right. I think there, there's gonna be like some stuff when they release like the DVD that was cut out like his whole fight yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah where he's like fighting the other uh yeah Freeza Force yeah a and and there's a whole movie called the Legend of yeah that's Bardock. my favorite Bardock. that's yeah. my favorite so and this of, movie well, kind yeah, that that's I that's love what it. this combined in yeah it combined that and uh I guess, yeah I guess just that I can't think of what else did, it was, was a, there, it was a much more expanded Freeza's version. Dad? Was there a movie about Frieza's dad, or was that the uh, no, no, not a whole uh, movie. Not Captain Col or King Cold. King Cold was in the beginning yeah. of the uh, Android Saga in Z. It's just like they're, they're all joke names. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, Cold. Yeah, yeah, they are. Vegeta Fuller. and Goku well, are like the, uh, fucking food. Most of the Z fighters are named after vegetables. Yeah, vegetables. Mm. Yeah, I know. Um, I just like that they're Yamcha. all Yamcha. <laughs> I love to, like Phoenix Wright. Phoenix yeah, Wright's all the, like, every they continue, they actually, books. they continued it with Super when they introduced some of the new Saiyans. It's Kale after, yeah. like, you know, Kale, uh, mm -hmm. Khalifa after Cauliflower. So he, he's still and, and with. I said it. Wait, hold on. Jesus. Can, can mm -hmm. I just, can I mention that, yeah. that fucking uh, alien chick? Hey, what, what the fuck was up with her, dude? 
Oh yeah, they kept showing her ass. And they shit. kept showing yeah. her ass, and she was like, had a hot ass voice. There was one picture that I loved, or just one meme I loved, where it showed her on the ship. It's like, do you ever it's just her face is like, do you ever think anime cuts like weird angles, and then the next shot is him looking at her ass, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't like, know what you're talking that, about. Like, focus right up here, and then the yeah. guy all the way over in the background. I'm like, yeah, it's just like I don't know what you're talking about. And then I'm just sitting there like, yeah, anime is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing this in a big theater. <laughs> weird sometimes with this this shit. Yeah. And I thought Dragon Ball Z, I mean, Dragon Ball Z definitely had its moments. Dragon like, Ball original has a whole lot of that. Yeah. But in the, the first Ball episode. Z, oh, yeah, but Dragon Ball Z itself, just Z, oh, yeah. didn't really have moments like that. I mean, there was a couple probably, but there's so many episodes that uh, here it's just like every time she shows up, we have to have a shot of her ass. I'm like, Krillin's girlfriend kind of was like the only time that really happened. Not not Android eighteen. I know you uh, uh, lunch. Launch. Launch. I mean, keep the name lunch. <laughs> we yeah. get it. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Uh. Got him. How, how filled were your theaters, by the way? Oh, oh well. We both showings for mine were sold out. Me and Gerard went to go see it, and we had to go sit all the way in the front because his dumb ass bought tickets, like, a day after they started selling. What an asshole. He bought, <laughs> so, he bought my so, ticket, too, and I didn't pay it back, but fuck him. How, you're <laughs> oh, back, too? I saw yeah. it on, like, a, I think I saw it, like, Wednesday morning, so no. <laughs> there were a few yeah, people. Yeah, I thought no, there was nobody in there. <laughs> I, uh, my, mine was, was impacted. It was, like, maybe... 15 people total if i yeah. saw it on the Which i'm kind of bummed because I, I know that people were saying that that the experience was like watching with everyone yeah, so, yeah the first time was great except there was this one guy in the front which is funny because i was in the front so i'm already like, laughing i just i, I just didn't trade because this every time something happens every time like something cool happens you just go oh man ooh, oh <laughs> shit <laughs> oh shit there's a lot of that moment like of consequence, yeah. <laughs> when Broly, my favorite part in the movie, when Broly picks up Goku, it just starts doing Loki shit to him while he's like smack, like what what Hulk did to Loki in Avengers. He just starts smacking him on the ground and stuff. Oh, and, oh, oh, exactly. Oh, oh, oh whoa! And and he would like uh, address things someone said in the movie, like he would answer them, like someone I forgot what it was. But someone like asked a question and he answered it. I was like, oh, <laughs> uh. but um. You. <laughs> but I was okay with it because everybody was kind of getting into it. So whenever he would do that, they would a lot of people would like laugh. And it wouldn't be in an annoying moment, you know, like a dialogue moment. It would always be just like when everything's loud and everything's getting everybody's getting beat the fuck up. Like it was it it, it was okay. I wasn't I wasn't too annoyed. It was it definitely wasn't as annoying as like Glass. I had a horrible oh, theater ooh. experience with Glass. <laughs> glass is so horrible. It's just a surround sound oh. of fucking idiots. Oh man. Go, oh. So, oh, <laughs> Serenity oh, was oh, the quietest oh, theater oh, experience I've ever had. He, said, he did say, ooh, Kakarot! <laughs> Call him Kakarot. Oh, man. That pissed me off, too. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it was a fun time. Yeah. I had a right, good time. Cool. Uh, all the Broly stuff was great. Yep. Anyway, we should uh, probably go through uh, everybody quickly. Adrian, Adrian. <laughs> no, I, I, I liked it. Um, I loved that. I mean, it was you, you go in for the fight scene, and that fight scene was fucking great. Yeah. Yeah, in a fight scene. I, I always get a little like thrown off whenever uh, I see two D movies like regular like, like the Pokemon stuff when they throw in the three D parts. Mm -hmm. It always throws me off. Like no matter what, I've, I how many movies I've seen, it always throws me off seeing like a three D thing in the middle there. Yeah, you can you can always it, tell. It, yeah, they did that. Tell, it, this, not as bad as the other two. Yep, yeah, this right. wasn't too bad. There were a couple of times it got real bad. Yeah, one like shot, right, like the whole, yeah, when they went and no, like yeah, when they went back to uh. Piccolo, I couldn't look at Vegeta because just for that whole scene, for some reason, his face was just so fucked up. Wow. <laughs> like, wow. something happened with the animation in that part. It just looked so bad. It didn't even look like Vegeta. Yeah, that's the part where he's doing, like, the dance thing, like, mocking. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. right before like, that. It was just, was like, for, like a hell? solid two minutes, just looked so bad. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, some of the 3D was, like, Not great. Obvious. Not great. Yeah, it, it was not as bad as Resurrection F, where every Ooh. fight scene, it would cut to another shot of like Frieza 
he's 3D, and it's just like so obvious. It's slow enough where you could definitely tell. It's not even like it's not even like did I see 3D? Like no, I definitely saw 3D. That's 3D. That's not even like close. It looked like like a Tenkaichi game, you know, <laughs> one of the CG cutscenes from one of the original ones. Yeah. But uh, although some of the CG was fucking great. Oh yeah, here like that one shot where Broly. It was like one quick shot where Broly just makes this giant purple like blast around everybody. I was just like, God damn. <laughs> like, that, that was, like a, I, yeah. That was it went to like a different dimension like, for a second. Yeah, wait, sorry, say again? It went to a different dimension for a second. Oh, yeah. And, and, yeah. Go, uh, uh, Vegito, or is it Gogeta? Gogeta. 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 I have to remember which one's which. Um, <laughs> Gogeta and Beku both now canon to the fucking yeah, cause Dragon Ball. Yeah, because I was thinking that. I was like, wasn't Gogeta was, thing? It's like, oh, right, he was in GT. It's like, all right. GT. No, he was GT and then the uh, Fusion Reborn movie. Because yeah, right, yeah. I just remember the Fusion dance, and I love that. Yeah. And, and when I think of it, like, that's in GT. I like something from GT. Oh, uh, no. Uh, it, who's like the that? fucking stupid little kid Goku? Not Gohan. Go Go Tanks, Go, go, go tanks, tanks and Little Trunks. They they're the Ten? ones. Is, no, it's Go Ten. Go Tanks is the. Uh, oh right, okay. So Go Ten and Trunks and the Boo Saga do the fusion dance in Z. Yeah, that's Go. Yeah, tanks. That's when they introduce it. Yeah. Yeah, that's Go Tanks, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How come Piccolo never did one? Because he's not saying. So. Why are you being racist, well, bro? So Adrian, well, you like the movie? It with the, uh, yeah. when, he that, when he introduced Potara, they did show Goku doing the combinations of him, uh, Dende, and Hercule, and it was just a fucking dis- and Krill, and it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah, Piccolo can fuse with an aerodynamic. How come he can't dance and fuse with him? That's and, and then start bragging about it and rooting for himself. <laughs> I, I am great. I could do this. I could do anything. I can win. And then yes, yes. Player where he gets his ass beaten. <laughs> yeah. He holds them off until Goku. I, I thought, um, <laughs> just because I don't want to spend too much on just random impressions, I think we should go through a couple of the moments we liked. I liked the, uh, I liked how prolonged the, uh, the dance scene was in the middle of all the chaos. Yeah, it keeps cutting yeah. the freezer, being all smug and shit, and then he's like, wait, hold on. And then Broly shows up and starts beating the shit out of him. And then I, I love... yeah. hey, go ahead. Yeah, and, see, but, and then it cuts to Vegeta and Goku. He's like, Goku's like, come on, just do it. And Vegeta does not. He's like, I'd rather fucking die, man. Oh, I'd rather die. And then he brings yeah. up his wife. He's like, Nah. <laughs> I love the part where it's uh, Frieza's just like, oh yeah, you want to see my gold form? Let's go. And, and I love it because they, they hype it up too. Like, it's like, oh, maybe they will throw, like, maybe they will throw down. You cut to the next scene, he's getting he's fucked. He's like, ass. yeah. Honestly, the most fucked up part about that is what the fusion, once you use the fusion, it lasts for, I think, a half hour. I'm trying to remember. It's a half hour, and half then you hour, can't yeah. do the fusion again for an, uh, either 30 minutes or an hour. There is a fucking grotesque. So like Frieza fucking... was getting beat, getting his ass kicked for about an hour and a half. Yeah. I love that. Hmm. So good. All right, Casey. <laughs> I, I fucking loved it. Yep. It's I I've watched I I had like high expectations because I I've also been I think I was the only one here. Well, no, Kyle, you watched two, all of Super, right? No, I haven't watched any of Super yet. Oh, uh, I've been watching like all that, so it's like you know with them hyping it up, like the way they're hyping it up. I was hoping it'd live up to the bar they've set because like the last arc they did, they really started going crazy with the budget and animation. Yeah, yeah. and like when they first, I and I love the animation. How even though it was like. Oh. Computer graphics, they still tried to go for like a 2D hand drawn art style almost with this mm-hmm. movie, which looked awesome for most of it. Mm-hmm. But it was like, like I said, my only, my only big complaint was that they went, they spent the first half hour of the movie building up a story and then threw all that aside for like the next hour just so the fight could happen. Yeah, and it was, I thought, I thought the, um, the, Killing of Broly's dad was a bit. I thought that was awesome. I don't know. That is that is what Frieza would do. I thought it would be better. The it, Krillin thing. I'm like, here we but go. I no, like, it was it was a cool concept because it's like at, up to that point they're building it up where I'm like, all right, Broly hates his dad, and then that happens. Like, okay, so Broly who looked like hated him actually loves it. Well, it, no, it, it's, it, well, they like it just threw a wrench in everything. Well, Broly even defended his dad when uh, the green yeah. girl, old blue, no, he wasn't blue, he was red. Uh, red dude were like trashing him. He's just like, no, you can't talk about my dad like that. Like you could tell he respects him because he's just a, like a, a man child pretty much. He's just like you know that's all he had, growing up. Um, 
And then the ear. Giant creature. Yeah. The ear. The ear. He took from that one thing. But, yeah. um, so yeah, I, I understood that. And, like, and that's what Frieza would do. He just fucking kills people. He I'm destroyed sure. a planet just because. No, I, I get that. I get that, but it just seemed. But he's a, he's a, he committed so many genocides. No, like, I, I, I get that, but did, didn't it not feel like a little weird? Like, okay, that, that was supposed to like get him even more, like, like, like to, to amp him up even more, but then yeah. like. He went after Goku, and then Goku just threw Frieza well, up there, and then he started beating the shit out of Frieza. Because well, no, what, what, what happened Broly was, he, got, he basically, when he gets that strong, he just goes on a rampage. So anything okay, that goes in front of him, he attacks. Yeah, yeah. And okay. that's why, that's why, like, if you ever see pictures of other, like, the other Broly, um, that's what I'll call him now, fake Broly, um, he's a, he's just giant, and he has the he has the Super Saiyan hair Yeah, he's, he's, like, that's, already that's mad. Perfect. Have the Super Saiyan hair until yeah. he, uh, he raged. Yeah. Okay. He got mad, but also I think that uh, Broly's dad was mainly for like as as far as the story goes. I think the purpose of him was just to like give Broly more of a character because the whole story, the whole reason why Broly's more developed now is because uh, King Vegeta is like like jealous of uh, Broly's dad because Broly is way more powerful than Vegeta, so he basically. Uh, uh, vanishes or well, makes Broly go away. Yeah, he's well, no, that that's that's what it see. Uh, he made it. It seemed like, but then when it was uh, when uh, King Vegeta was confronting him, he said, he, "This guy's so powerful. There's no way he's going to be able to keep himself under control. He's right. just going to become a danger to everyone." Well, that does end up being true. I do think it was more he was jealous. That, oh no, I'm yeah. saying that's but, part of that. But yeah. I, I I think that's the that's a big reason. And, why. Yeah. And uh, by the end of the, but the thing is that Broly has proved that he can be calmed. If you don't have some asshole there egging him on, like yeah, that's right, we get revenge, Broly. And Broly goes yeah, yeah, we revenge. Like, yeah, because like, like when you get a dog like really riled up, and they they just like yeah, yeah, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna fuck someone up. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, that's, that's and your leg. Because what? And he humps your leg. Yeah, yeah. Well, leg. <laughs> He well, get a rolled up his face. Get off, Broly. Well, Broly's dad. He's all over Goku. Bro <laughs> Goku, yeah, Goku screaming for it. All right, we keep we keep kind of Kyle from an actual thought. Broly's okay. dad wants revenge on King Vegeta. That's like the whole reason why uh, Broly would ever go after them. So <laughs> Broly's so Broly's dad trains Broly for like years and years to to get revenge on King Vegeta, and then that translates to ve regular Vegeta since. Planet Vegeta is fucking dead. There's three Vegetas. Uh, yeah. The planet, the person, so, and the other. So once Broly's already let loose and, like, he's like, hey, son, this is what I've been building up to kill this fucking bitch-ass Vegeta right here. <laughs> so so that happens. Broly's fighting Vegeta and then Goku. And he's already mad at this point, so I think that the dad has already served his purpose because we all know that Vegeta's not going to fucking die. So once he's used up that purpose, it makes sense in a story sense, not just Frieza's sense, to kill uh, Broly's dad, because he's kind of served his purpose. He got he got to the point where he thought he was going to get revenge, and then he didn't. So Yeah, he dead. got to the well, point where yeah. Broly got angry, so we could watch yeah. some awesome yeah, action. Was, yeah, that was the big thing. It was, it was more, it was also because Frieza knew about the Super Saiyan form, and knew it wasn't, you know, he wasn't triggering, and knew if he did, he'd, he'd become more powerful and might actually beat them. Mm-hmm. And that's when he flashed back to, oh, that's right, when I killed uh, his best friend, he went berserk. I'll just, the only person he cares about, the same thing will happen. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the movie the movie's fantastic. It's just really yeah. deep. And yeah. Um, yeah. it's got a deep story. And, uh, and then all the characters are amazing. Like I writing. said, the main purpose Excellent. was the retcon, because I'm trying to think. I'm just joking. All the stuff they like made canon, uh, there was Goku's mom. Uh, they only referenced them offhand, but Vegeta's brother. Right. Uh, Gogeta, like all of his forms. Brawly. Right. Technically Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. And was Which, Broly's dad yeah. in the original movie? I do not remember. I yeah. Don't, yeah. yeah, he was. The first I don't one, know what yeah. happened to him, though. Uh, he, uh, he died. Yeah. yeah, who had to <laughs> die? It, it's exactly the same. <laughs> no, I don't yeah, think so. Frieza. I think it was just Frieza in uh, one him. of Brawley's attacks. Uh, oh, okay, well, and that's the... pretty much what Frieza made him think. That or he happened. got shot with a laser gun. Yeah, or oh, by a gun. That happened in Resurrection Act. <laughs> he, got he got shot by a gun. Oh. <laughs> Someone yeah. dropped the gun, he died. 
<laughs> now... <laughs> ah, shit! Broly, help! <laughs> um, what was everyone's thoughts on Gogeta? I mean, I, I liked him in GT. It. I don't I don't fucking hate GT at all. GT's okay. It, that, was the, that was the thing, though. They did oh, real, you did. It wasn't... <laughs> yeah. for, for, <laughs> Most people was, did. Dude, for, it wasn't too much of a spoiler, because what happened is they showed the advanced greetings to Japan, yeah. and everyone started posting about it, so... And then they they put had it on no trailer. choice but to make a trailer about it because it was just it was so, so I, small. I hate it. So though, anyone, man. anyone who's anyone yeah. who's 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 uh, so dope. We need to do and, the and, fusion dance. I would be like, you, you <laughs> oh 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 oh, 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 oh shit! They're gonna do the dance. No, no, I, I, they're gonna uh, screw uh, it up and it'll be, be fat. Anyone, like <laughs> anyone watching this right now, go back to uh, Chris's reaction video. I think it might have been his third, or, his second or third one, yeah. and watch to the end where he's like. That was a good video. Hold on. <laughs> what did that say? No, that ain't real. <laughs> yeah, because the suggestion. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. No, that can't be. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for what video? <laughs> the video it, 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 with just the next. Sh- it's like Gogeta trailer. I'm like, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then the next video is next video is him like. Yeah. And he's like, well, I guess if it's real, I'll just make a reaction of it. <laughs> then it just auto plays afterwards. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, guess it's real. Uh, it was real. And uh, you know what? I said in that video, like, he's probably just gonna show up in the last, like, 15 minutes or some shit. And, and people said, no, I think he's gonna show up, like, halfway through. I'm like, no. no. Uh, but he was still in it in a lot longer than I thought he would. Well, be. because he, he's OP as shit, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah like, but that, uh, what are you gonna do with him for half a movie? That's why he, he they got the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan shit now, which is the dumbest shit. Legend but, uh, Super uh, Saiyan. You haven't seen Ultra Instinct, then. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least Ultra Instinct doesn't sound stupid. Right, that, that's the way I thought about it. Was like it wasn't even a fight for Broly at the end. It was like once they once it was Gogeta in there, it was like, well, that that's it. That's game. Well, that's like, that's no, the well, like, thing. Still defending stuff. That's when they went into the different dimension. Like so, they were still. Which, which out. I think is funny because Super actually has an explanation for that shit. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't need you know, for the, uh, the the thing. No, with, I just like like something that absurd can happen. Like, and he's super is like, oh, it's okay, we can explain it. Just the, just the immense power of those two hitting each other made it so that they went to a different dimension. I was like, all right, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> They're so powerful when they collided. They're so powerful, they went to a pocket dimension that exists out time outside of our timeline. So, I don't know, quantum realm. Fuck it, Ant Man fly by in the background. Like, I don't know. I, anyway. I thought of it like the like the mirror, like in Doctor yeah. Strange. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry, Kyle. Go ahead. The the thing with Dragon Balls, that's how they do every fight. It's you know, it's usually the villains way overpowered. The heroes find a way to kind of get up to their level, and then it just keeps escalating power levels like every single time. That's how like almost all Dragon Ball fights go. Uh, but the formula works, and I I think for it, that it works. works. It does. And then, but uh, like I said, once you. The to- uh, tournament of power actually flipped that a bit. Okay, which I- is why I'm really I like so interested much love yeah. in watching that. Uh, I've been told I could skip the first couple arcs because it's just the retelling of the movies. Really? Yeah, it's, it, for if, for you, you could just it, it just fixes a few things from the movies, but honestly, you could just skip right to Universe Six Verse Seven. Okay, good. The first two story arcs you can just skip because it's just the retelling oh. with a couple of fixes. So yeah, it's like so GT. Just- GT. Just skip the Black Star what? saga, you know. Uh, just don't skip need to the watch whole that. thing. Don't need to <laughs> watch that. The whole thing. Don't watch the last I mean, episode. <laughs> yeah, probably. The last episode of GT is so terrible. Dude. <laughs> oh god. Like, Goku went on off, and now he's he's in the he's somewhere. I don't know. Fuck Dra- it. Yeah, it's, it's like old his grand grand uh, granddaughter, right? That's his granddaughter. Yeah. Pan. Uh, yeah. Pan, right? Uh, Pan's just like old. I hate it. It's who's so who's like the Indian Goku in GT? Oop. <laughs> Oob. Right. Oh, right. He's at the end of Dragon He's Ball He's reborn, Z. Boo. Yeah. yeah I think he said Goku. He looks like Goku or something. Yeah, he shit. said Indian Goku. Oh, uh, he has spiky hair. Everybody has spiky hair. What the fuck? I, I don't know. I, I remember seeing the GT movie afterwards. Because there's, there's one GT movie and has, like, a, another little Goku that's not Goten, right? I think there's another, like, kid below Goten. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I, I guess I guess just to summarize any other thoughts I have about the movie, I think it looks fucking amazing. Like, cause I I saw the other two in theaters as well, 
and I thought Battle of Gods was just really cool to see in the theater period because yeah. like I never saw an anime a Dragon Ball anime in a movie the in theaters? theaters yeah so that you was Dragon Ball Evolution. no I didn't but Come that's on. not an anime that's not an anime anyways <laughs> Come on, man. yeah it was a really good looking anime it looked I, real I really liked Battle of Gods I thought it was I thought it was really funny um and it was really cool. I, I thought Resurrection F was funny. I just thought Battle uh, of God was a little bit too corny with I, humor. Like, it was just like, oh, he likes to eat just like Goku. Hey. Like, you know. Yeah, uh, whatever. I, I liked it. I liked Beerus a lot, the introduction oh, yeah. to him. I like Beerus too, but I like Beerus, Beerus when he's used like this. I love. Yeah, Beerus I love when he's used like this. Where he's just like, he's just in a bad, he's like, I, I want to take care of you. That, that, was, that was one of the quick things that I, Brawly that I loved is when he's trying to attack Whis. Yeah, it, and he's, it clearly is so unbothered by this. Where he's just—it's like he's—he's he's like a cat. He's just playing a game. Yeah, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. I just—I I like. He's just like, yeah, this is cool, but it's not as cool as space. It's like, oh, <laughs> and also, this movie is like probably is easily the most like cinematic of all the movies, and also it doesn't like really waste its time with any like peripheral characters because like Krillin's not in it, Yamcha's not in it, because they don't <laughs> that, need that, to be that in. Guy it. Broly was was pretty it's overdone. So- yeah, they, wait, I'm sorry, go ahead. That guy Broly was really overdone. Yeah, okay, but... <laughs> He's just like, I don't, I need I don't it. Like, like fighting. Yeah. yeah that he fights. Because yeah, if I remember, like, definitely Battle of Gods, but I think Resurrection F2, like, they, they needed to use all the characters or have them in a cameo, but it's mainly just Goku, Vegeta, Broly, Frieza, and, like, the, the two alien Broly with the ass. The, the two alien people and Broly's dad there, I guess there's a lot there's a lot of characters <laughs> uh, I'm just going by like they had Bulma there like you said Frieza Bulma a bit the two, the two new characters then you got Broly Goku Vegeta uh, nice you still Beerus. got his, uh, Broly's daddy at Beerus and uh, Piccolo think, was like a nice Piccolo. cameo Piccolo was just like hey man you guys want me in the movie I'm like yeah, I guess come on uh, you the like, no. uh, just transmission to me I guess yeah <laughs> whatever but I thought the movie looked uh, let's not forget the ear uh, creature. Yeah, that's a character. Oh right, yeah, because right. Broly's yeah, a... Broly's uh, like fucking best loincloth. Friend. Best friend. His best friend, who his dad made him. <laughs> well, kill. he doesn't. I like how the characters that he tells that story to, they all say like, oh, "That's the most innocent, story innocent ever thing I've ever heard here." This is a cor- <laughs> It's like part of a. It's part of a little creature. Not little, but you know. Also, the the alien girl definitely wanted to fuck Broly, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, sing him to his home planet. And we can and like everybody in the him. Everybody theater wants to fuck that alien girl. I'm sure she's yeah, on rules or everywhere. No, yeah. I don't even know her name. What's her name? Jeff. Ooh la la. Probably do. Jeff. Ooh la la. <laughs> yeah, ooh la la. <laughs> yeah, from Space Channel Part Five. Yeah. No, it's just Space Channel Five. It's not Space, Space Channel, Channel Part Five. Space Channel Five Part Two. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there you go. That's a game. But uh. Yeah, we yeah. all liked Broly, even for non-fans. <laughs> Good movie. Suck, don't see it. All right. Well, that's that's uh, Broly. Go uh, check it out if it's still playing, yeah. I guess. It's not. Rip. You fucked up. All righty. Well, that's Broly out of the way. Yep. All right. So now we just have to talk of, about the entirety of the Oscars. Yes. Well, <laughs> there's... Let's do this quick. Yeah. We're not going to have just the main ones. Yeah. yeah so... we... well, what, 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 what? Besides, uh, some... besides the uh, best picture... Um... And the actors and... Director. Right, so let, let's let's knock out like some of the uh, smaller ones. I guess yeah. I just want I just want to make a mention of some of these things. So, and the future definitely. Visual about. effects that that was interesting. It was a I think shitty we're... shitty nominees across the board, really. Like from what it, I remember. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're all can really we, good. Looking. Before we get into it, could we also just address that Paddington Two was completely left out of yeah. fucking? Episode? Yes. Only been nominated for visual <laughs> and best At picture least. effects. It's not even Christopher it's, Robin. It, yeah, that guy fucked me. Yeah, <laughs> that guy uh, fucked. Dude, Disney bought out some of these. Uh, like these are. They're, 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 <laughs> yeah, they also bought out Best some, Picture. There's uh, there, there's some questionable shit going on with Bohemian Rhapsody that I'm like. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do not get best it. Best Picture. I, yeah. There, no, there is something no, going I, on there. Too. I don't get it. I don't. I didn't hate the movie, but I just. No, no, I know oh, it's just, like, but yeah. like, but I, it's, it's like. Generic. actual tinfoil hat like something weird is going on with this because like why is it getting this much praise like it's a movie that's about it because it's about freddie mercury and i you know, know what though a, you know what though movie guy yeah you know, here's the problem is i hear and i haven't seen the movie 
So you can it's back really, me if I'm wrong. It's I really hear fun. that's it's generic as hell. The problem with it is that if it if it lived up to what it should have been, I can see it like landing on here. But if it feels like it might it might have fallen under like one of those uh, cause you know a lot of the people that, that nominate these movies they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't they just they just stick with popular. Whatever whatever is popular. Bohemian yeah, popular, Rhapsody was with. definitely fucking popular. Yeah. yeah, and they and they hear they hear oh that's that one song right and then that, that's got that got fucking praise they, they had the popular category and then they got rid of it. Yeah, because popular category is a dumbass category like, though. I think what they just did is they just mixed it with the best picture. I think yeah. that's pretty much what they did because I mean I love Black Panther. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, uh, it's not, good. It's not. It's not. It's not. But there's other ones there that I don't think are either. Like Vice, I don't think nope. should be there. Nope. Um, I don't. I, I really, 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 really liked um. Uh, Green Book, uh, and it was actually I think it's in my top twenty still. But I feel like that one was just there because it, I feel I feel like that's just a really fun movie. That, that's the ongoing thing with it's there because it needs to be there. So but like, but like, but not like it deserves to be there though. Let me so, see. Uh, so so some no, of the I, some I, of the glaring I, stuff I want to point out just really quick. So yeah, Paddington two for visual effects. Uh, Annihilation I, for visual effects. Yeah, that's yeah, fucking that, that's ridiculous. The one, that's the one that I was I was talking with Gore. That I, I feel like Annihilation should have been somewhere. I don't that, even that, like that the movie, funny. but that movie should like, have Chris, been nominated. Christopher Robin and Christopher Robin and First Man. I, and and I Solo. Uh, was it First Man the one that should? Oh, that should probably, like, I think yeah, that, that, that's the one yeah. that wins. Solo's uh, the I one think, where I'm like, what the fuck, Solo? Yeah, Solo and Christopher it's, Robin should be swapped out for Annihilation and uh, Paddington oh, too. I think. Fucking Solo. What? Because <laughs> to be fair, I think Ready Player One still like. Yeah, well, sure. I, yeah, I love yeah, that. Sure. Yeah. The world they created digital characters, and yeah. for the, most part, the special effects I think are really good for what. Right. Yeah. And in Avengers, you kind of need a Marvel movie in there because yeah, Thanos that's... himself. Even if you don't like the movie, you can say Thanos. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, he's seamless. I think. Sure. At least. Right. No, he he does really well But there's there. all like for most of the categories. <laughs> Look great, I think. Oh, all the all the stuffed animals obviously are all CG, and they all blend in well. But I just I think Paddington Two blended in better. Yeah, so, right. It's like a shitty thing. To there was also with Paddington Two, there was a lot more interaction with the like CG the... between the actors. Yeah. Whereas Christopher Robin, he always had like, he was always like five feet away from each of them. Yeah. So he wouldn't and interfere. There's like some great. Moments in Paddington Two too, like the whole the uh, the whole don't, sequence don't where it's like, oh, I'm gonna watch that soon. Oh, yeah. well, never mind. Fuck it. Don't spoil uh, it. That's, that's on my list. That's on my short list to watch before. Uh... It is a great scene in the beginning where he meets his uh, aunt in a dream. That's all I'll say. And you'll know what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah, that's. Um, so that that was glaring there. Um, so, yeah, that's a glare. I, I think best I, production I, design for Paddington Two as well. The pink yeah, jail dude. Design. Come on. Hell yeah, man! He makes all their things pink. I don't. Eh. Yeah, that's a good ass movie. The uh, <laughs> film at Lisa's character's name again. I freaking love that. He's like a, oh god, he has a great name. Brendan Gleeson's character. Fuck, I forgot his name. He's great. Oh, him and Pennington should get like best on screen duo. <laughs> for, <laughs> so for good. Film, for film editing, I I know a few of these don't belong in here. Vice does okay. doesn't. In, oh, Vice is way Vice too. Doesn't. Vice is like edited like a video essay, like a in your yeah. face video essay. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Very in your face. Bohemian Rhapsody should definitely no. not be. No, there's a lot. It shouldn't be in most okay. of the categories. It's not. Yeah, no. The it's... only one I would find is Rami Malik because he did a great job. He really did. Yeah. But, but, no, not film editing. Definitely not. Especially when it's just so many quick cuts and stuff during conversations. Yeah. Which actually bother me, but now it bothers me because I, I, I will nominated. say. <laughs> not I will three, say, but it's. it's um, as as much of a disappointment as the favorite was to me, I think film editing definitely is a. Uh, Good one for that movie. I guess. I was gonna honestly see the only one I, I was I felt fit the category was Black Klansman. Yeah, Black Klansman. Yeah, the because when the guy when the guy's doing that speech at the like the yeah, Black it's Panther totally movie, the faces and stuff. Yeah, that was fucking yeah. awesome. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, that that should win. But you know what? It's gonna be behavior. No, I've said my. It. My it'll, probably, no, it'll, probably, it'll be Vice because it's in your face so much. They like that. No, it won't be Vice. It no, will definitely not be uh, Vice. So, <laughs> the favorite. I think Black Clansman is the favorite. Right. Uh, so what, <laughs> one of my two biggest glaring snubs, I think. Oh, yeah. The first one being documentary. There's no, yeah, there's no Would You Be My Neighbor in Best Documentary feature, which yeah. is mind-boggling to me. Yeah, yeah. that's... I, mean, I was in shock when I heard that. Yeah, I was, when I was watching it too, I was like, 
I haven't seen it yet, but it just blew my mind. Like, no, that it, belongs in there. I don't give a fuck. I, don't, I haven't seen any of these. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Hale County this morning is uh, this evening is great. Uh, free Solo. I was actually going to see it because it was in IMAX in my theater, but I, I didn't get around to it. Um, and I heard RBG is great. Um, the other two, I haven't heard like a damn thing about like at all. Like, I can't remember the name now. Um, the other two, Minding the Gap, I heard it, hey, but I don't know what's. I'm really surprised Hill County even got nominated because it's it's re- extremely not an Oscars movie like at all. It's really experimental and shit. And I, I feel it's one of those movies. Is like I feel like I'm the only person who would ever like that horseshit. <laughs> I, I love that movie. That was my favorite movie. That was my wow, favorite okay. movie well, last at least, year. At least you admit it. <laughs> this, this, this is the most carriage progression Kyle's ever had. <laughs> that was that was my favorite movie last year, and it got nominated that's for best insane. documentary. It's like, but still, it's like yeah. the computer becomes self-aware. That's Kyle right now. I, um, I also think it's crazy you're though. Say it's not documentary. Is that what you said? Did you just say that? Hello, Adrian. I guess not. <laughs> I said Kyle. What do you mean? Wait, Adrian? Yeah. I, Wait I'm what? What'd you say? Shit. What'd you say? Said, no, because you said it, it's my favorite movie of that year, and yeah. they nominated for best documentary. I haven't seen it, and I don't really know much about it. So I was, yeah. I was asking if you consider it more of a, just a movie or a documentary, because I don't know what it's about. It's definitely a documentary. It's, it, it's basically a bunch of like I went. I'm not gonna say random. I guess footage of like this really of this black community in uh, Hale County, Alabama. And it shows a lot of, like, really personal, like, intimate moments and stuff like that. Okay. But also, like, there's there's scenes that go on for, like, five minutes and they're really repetitive, like, on an objective standpoint. There's there's a scene where, a, like, a black a little kid toddler runs across the room and back for, like, five minutes straight. And that's all that goes your on. Favorite movie last year? It is 100% yeah, well, the I, best movie I saw that year. Well, okay, so to be fair, like, I still, <laughs> I get it, I still, but... I still love a fucking... A ghost story and that that one has a more egregious example oh, of, uh, no but like that's like the whole, that's like most of the movie because there are there are moments where it's like holy shit just like because the cinematography and just the photography of that movie hill county is amazing and but i'll put it on my list not All not right. a movie right. for everyone sold me. i'm excited to see this kid <laughs> it's gonna be the best movie ever he uh, really I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna invite the friends I mean, over and some popcorn. <laughs> order order some large pizzas we're gonna do this dude All right, you sold me you sold me kyle all right, next one we're going to talk about. Have a laugh. <laughs> Best director. Oh. All right. This, this is the really... next big snub. Yeah. I, I don't know. My boy Bradley Cooper. Oh, Where yeah. the fuck is Bradley Cooper, dude? Yeah. I do like that the guy that did Cold War got nominated. I haven't That's seen weird. It, I, I know. It's because it didn't get nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. It's, well, no, it's, it's not. There's many times where that happens, where a Best Director for a certain movie doesn't get nominated yeah. for Best Picture. So... Uh, and like it was foreign, but so is Roma. Roma's foreign too, and I got nominated. The thing so, about Cold War I think is Ro- not even that. I think Roma had the most. Yeah, I think it did too. Yeah, was that the favorite? Oh no, yeah, I think it's the favorite actually. Um, favorite. It might be tied. I don't know. Roma Cold War. Tied, Cold War has amazing cinematography. Like that is definitely yeah, the most notable perfect. thing about it. Yeah. Uh, the directing, like yes, but it's kind of weird that that got. Like singled out for that movie, other than foreign film, Vice being there. Ah, oh! yeah. So that that's dumb. I will say that. I bet the reason why Bohemian Rhapsody didn't get nominated is because Brian Singer is a. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly why. Yeah. That's a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they tried to do that too because I'm sure whatever the fuck is going on here. Like if they because because uh, Dexter Fletcher who's directing Rocket Man next year the. I like that uh, yeah. Rock, that's a good one. Or Dexter Fletcher. Dexter it Fletcher. sounds like the guy from Attack of the Clones. What's it his is. name? Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, uh, De- uh, Dex- Riley Cooper. <laughs> yeah, Riley. <laughs> Dexter <laughs> Jester, right? <laughs> yeah, Dexter Molester. Yeah, but um, <laughs> but no, it's just it's weird. It's weird that um, Bradley Cooper didn't get nominated because yep. uh, because Adam McKay is not no. I, no. I I will say I'm, <laughs> I'm glad uh, Spike Lee got got a nomination. Yeah. yeah. That one, I think, I feel like that one was a shoe in Vice is such a smug ass fucking movie, dude. Like it is, it really is. I there's moments I really like, but there's so many sure. times where I think it's so fucking clever. Like the ending, you know what the ending reminded me of, Kyle? It reminded right. me of Assassination Nation, where it's just like it yep. ends with like a dumbass yeah. joke. Go, oh, get it, all you memers out there. But, yes, uh, except like 
you know, because like Assassination Nation was like a little like a a wink. I did it for the lols. Wink. This movie yeah, is like you're was, fucking stupid, idiot. You fucking watch yeah. your dumb Fast and Furious movie. You fucking retard. Yeah, it was. It was, it was like attacking the people that would do that because it was just like uh, I don't care about politics. I just want to see Fast and Furious. And it doesn't make sense. Like Vice. Vice. Wow. Not spoiling it. And in it's the middle right. of the movie, you know that in the middle of the movie, it seems like, oh, uh, Dick Cheney supported his gay daughter. Oh, he's such a good guy. Oh, that's the end of the it's movie. It's not fake out. Don't, don't spoil that. Yeah, this really isn't a <laughs> okay, no, okay, I know there was some big, like, I think right, I heard, like, usually, like, one big fake out in the movie. Like, I'm actually interested. There in is. There is. And yeah. that one was okay. I, I'll admit, that one was cool. But, uh. I don't want that yeah, to to be a good fake out though. You have to actually fake me out, and I, I wasn't faked out at all. And Fair. and also, I, I, I'm not one, stupid. One snub I think for sure is motherfucking uh is for best makeup, which only has three nominations for some reason. And no. Vice, you know, okay, they made Christian Bale look like Dick Cheney, sorta. They put old man so, makeup on him. I mean, I mean, he he did most yeah. of that himself by just yeah, he's got out cheeseburgers for four months. Yeah, yeah, he's little, he's a fat little boy. Don't so, worry. Don't worry, be and again. the snub in that, I, yeah, and the snub in that category is fucking Suspiria, which fucking which was yeah. good enough that Tilda Swinton has two roles in that movie, and like most people wouldn't even fucking notice it because of the makeup. She, she has three roles actually. Three roles. I didn't fucking know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, come on. Whereas fucking Mary Queen of Scots, oh, it's like puffy, red, rosy cheek makeup. Fuck that bullshit. Stupid. Uh, remember that one fat witch at the end of the movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's her. That's so yeah. Sad. It's yeah. so sad. Yeah. All right. So moving on, let's that's let's cool. talk about the uh... original song. Can we talk about that? Yeah, let's talk like, about original good song. stuff. Good stuff. Okay, I'll, uh, it's shallow. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop here in a second. It's All the Stars from Black Panther. Yeah. I'll Fight from RBG. The Place Where Lost Things Go from Mary Poppins Returns. Easily shallow. Stars movie. But... And When a Cowboy Trades His Spurs for Wings from The Dollar so Bunch. Funny Which I'm excited that to watch movie. that one. Really like I'm that. really excited to watch that movie. I, I know you didn't really care for it, Kyle. It was it was okay. It just... The, 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 the first two stories in Buster Scruggs are incredible. The rest are really bore are pretty boring to me. But... It is the the song that they do play in the first one, which is the one that got nominated, is really fucking funny and it's really good. I'm just surprised it got nominated at all. I mean, Buster Scruggs had to get nominated for something. It got nominated for this and what screenplay, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah. And I can wait, see wait, that. Wait, did it get nominated for like costume? Yeah, costume design too. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. It was um. Good. But Shallow's gonna about? win, right? Like, Shallow's. Oh, I yeah, mean, Shallow's absolutely. Song. I, that, I I am surprised it wasn't the other one. Which song was it? It was um. Uh, the end song. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I, 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 I like that the, one, the big one in the middle. Yeah, of the that movie. was, yeah. but I feel like I feel like the other one was like more Oscar bait. Sure. Yeah. Shallow's just Shallow's a way bigger song. Like that's it all is, it comes it, down to. But I think Shallow's a better song. I'll yeah, never love not, again. Yeah, I'll I'll, no, I liked I'll Never Love Again, but it's just, this was such a driving force for the entire, that song was such a driving force for the entire movie that, yeah. I mean, you're not going to top Shallow. I like Shallow. Um, I think I'll Never Love Again is, is better because just because Shallow has like, it gets a little lazy in the middle of the song. Really? Shallow. They love that all, shit. I know, I know, I know. I'm fucking, I'm fucking around. No, no, I know. I know, I know. I know. I know but, but it does, it does, uh. Also. SpongeBob. That fucking. No, but it, 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 I thought the other one was like a stronger song. And I think in, in the way they cut it in the movie, I think was super strong too. That, that was a moment that like, that was oh, a big yeah. like gut punch. Like the way it fucking cuts. When it cuts to, yeah. Yeah, that, I think well, that you, was. Oh. Well, yeah, you right. heard the story behind that scene, right? <laughs> Where it was uh, literally like an hour wait, before they filmed that, uh, yeah. her best friend actually died. Oh. Uh, Oh and then yeah, she with just that, went yeah. straight to the movie set and did the did that song and that in that one take. I was like, all right, it's a little fucked up, but yeah, <laughs> fucked up. A little fucked up. They went, oh, sorry, your best friends, and uh, can you still make it to the set today? 
Yeah, well, we gotta do that. If you be here, that'd be great. Yeah, it actually it actually drive a little more emotion for the scene and make it a little better. When she said that to Bradley Cooper, he's like, "Oh, perfect." <laughs> oh, no, it's time. It couldn't be any better. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, that's, that's messed up. Don't say that. <laughs> that's not right. Should not right. Okay. I just kept going. Oh, thanks. Should Brian. we go on? Well, <laughs> oh, do you want to go to actors? Uh, yeah. It's a, Let's do a supporting. Yeah, <laughs> supporting actress. Supporting actress. Yeah. All right. The favorite. The favorite's kind of stacked up. The here. favorite's probably gonna sweep. To be There's honest. One movie that I just don't care. Double. God. Yeah, I know that. That sucks, man. Cause like. That movie's I, I, so I boring. I was going in there. I know. I was going in there with like really high expectations too. Cause I'm like, yeah. I'm hearing like good buzz about this. Like. Sacred Deer was I, fucking I like that, hilarious. Like a, yeah, and I, I like that director now. Like, I I think it's, he's great, but uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> it, 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 it was supposed to be. But, know. but you know what? You know what? It's because I read comments that people were talking about. Like, and I see some people were talking about how like, the favorites are their favorite movie. And I, I messaged them back. I'm like, like what? What made you? Like, I'm just curious. Like, what? What? Like, got you? And he's like, I think that's like one of the fucking funniest movies I've ever seen. I was like, I I didn't get that I'd at all. I barely man. Like, laughed, it, and it was uh, that yeah. that movie like. Killer of Zika Deer was was a fucking it was a fucking hoot a holler. Uh, that a, a tour de force. <laughs> Funny about that movie is that if the whole movie, but uh, no, if you read, I'm like, so you, excited to watch it again because I I yeah. I watched it with like a fucked up mindset, like this is kind of fucked up. But then when I, whenever I talk to you two, you guys are like that's hilarious. I just kind of have I, ever since that that mindset's been growing in my head. So Funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm just like. I'm fucking ready for the the best time okay, of my life next time when, I watch it. I'm saving it. It's one day. One day. When he's spinning happen. around, holy shit. <laughs> no. Every time. Every time. Every, and then he misses and just keeps going. It's that one. It's when uh, the kids are crawling just like, you know, I'm better. I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll do all my homework. Or whatever. I don't even remember what the lines. Uh, that was and, that, and then there was that one scene where where she's just naked, laying over the bed. Yeah, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, just like kill me. Barry Barry Keegan's uh, mom. Watch that tomorrow, I think. Uh, yeah. you know Barry Keegan's uh, mom uh, when Alicia Silverstone, right? Yeah, and him? um, who's the main fucking guy? Uh, Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell. When Colin Farrell's at Barry Keegan's house and he's talking to his mom, his mom's like talking about fucking him and stuff or something like that. Yeah. He's yeah. just like, like oh, I want you to film me, stuff me, you know. Yeah. That's not like, like the most obvious fucking entendres and innuendos ever. And Colin Farrell's just like really stone faced. Just like, dude, just like, I. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. watch that movie. I'm gonna watch that movie again sometime in February. I'm fucking excited. Like yeah. we should, we should all rewatch that movie again because I, I feel like we always focus on the same like four or five parts. I, I want to watch it over again. Yeah. That that movie. It the way I've been thinking about it since then because I walked out of that movie like that was really fucked up, man. Yeah. And then you guys are just like, yo, that was fucking funny. Yo, I'm like, you know what? You guys are right. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm '90s kid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. From and then they... from oh. oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! But uh, the favor was <laughs> disappointing. Oh look, it was the kid from mid nineties. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, it's the kid from uh, uh, God of War. No, it's a kid from mid nineties. Of course. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that that we're, I'm gonna do that soon. But the favor right was out. disappointing, and the the lobster is really good too. I should say. I'm excited. I'm, sa I'm saving the lobster for like one of those rainy day movies where I'm like, I just need a new movie, oh. and I know I'm gonna like it. Like oh. I, like, I thought, I like the lobster. Yeah, that, that's what I was hearing. It's like if you like this movie, I'm gonna love the lobster. Yep. So that, I'm saving that one. The, but, fa um, the, much the thing with the favorite is it feels like Killing of a Sacred Deer with like all like the the edginess taken out of it. I guess like like anything like subversive about it. Or I, I will say. Know, it's so definitely, you, definitely supposed to be a comedy, but do just, either, yeah. you, just watered do either down. Do you care about spoilers? Huh? Do either of you care about spoilers? Not really. Not Favorite? a big spoiler. Yeah. I do, but I could, I could just lower. There's, my... there's really not. There's really. It's not even a big. It's not a spoiler at all. But it's something. Yeah, that I'll lower my thing and you wave, and then I'll, I'll, I'll right, turn. All right. All right. All right. All right. Go. Go. I'll wave. I'll wave. Right, um, I like that. God, of course, such a bitch, dude. Just, just, <laughs> just fucking say it. <laughs> no, um, no, that, that was that, that was that one scene where it was, it was the the fat guy I like Gore. That's uh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's that fat guy that, that's getting hit with the tomatoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
that that part was I thought I thought was like the closest it's gonna get to that movie, and that that sucks. That was the, the funniest part of that movie. The only that happened like right at the beginning. The only part I thought that I, I had a, a no. decent laugh at was when. <laughs> do you turn it just to make sure you weren't talking shit, which I'm sure you did. I just didn't. Do you remember? <laughs> just a comparison. The fat guy like Gore. <laughs> the uh, the only movie that made me the only moment that made me laugh was when the uh, who was like the the one main like guy. Down. Remember when the one guy is in the girl's like basement like uh, door yeah. dorm or whatever? Yeah. He he says something funny. I don't remember that much. It it just was not fuck, fucking dude. memorable. Okay. There's yeah, something about we... rabbits and shit. It's like, pfft, pfft, nah. Yeah, it was it was really just like like there, there was a, a good part like the the horse part like the that whole thing that was kind of funny. But man, like like. It was such a fucking disappointment. Like it's compared to the fucking killing of sacred deer. I'm like, for something that got so much praise, I'm like, man, that sucked. Yep. Well, it's more, it's more like a, a typical. Oscar. But it also wasn't written by him, right? It was. It wasn't. No. Yeah, which that that makes sense. Like I could see his style in it, but definitely wasn't written by. It him. just wasn't that... very subversive. You know, it's like okay, the lesbian. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, come <laughs> on, that's the whole point come of the on. fucking movie. What do you mean? No. Yes, it is. Oh, come no, on. No, it's not. What? It totally is. Oh, call me by your name. I didn't know they were gay. What the hell? What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that movie gay is fun. No. And I love it. I love it. It's just so hot. Yeah, that peach scene, man. Oh, yeah. I eat peaches for the next few weeks of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I I gotta be honest. The Put f- some cream filling in it. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, I'll say it for best picture anyway. Support... The, all that horseshit for, for the favorite. Who, who's horseshit. supporting? Who's supporting actress? Or uh, the nominees? Emma Stone, Rachel Wise for the favorite. Yeah. Both of them. Regina King for If Beale Street Could Talk, which actually I'd be okay with that. She was really good. Marina oh, De Tavira. Tavira. I don't know. Yeah, Roma. Uh, Tavi- uh, yeah. yeah. Tavira. I don't know. She's she's uh, gonna win. Amy Adams for Vice. The most non-character fucking performance like ever. She's hardly. She shows up. She's she's like you know what women shouldn't. Oh, Dick, uh, Dick, what are you thinking? What are you thinking, Dick? Remember that scene when he's in the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, what are you yeah. thinking, Dick? Stupid. I, I I haven't seen either of those other movies, so I can't speak on those. Roma yeah, no. Roma's gonna win because she's in it the entirety of the movie and it's very subtle it's very like oh artsy like oh what is she thinking uh very i could physical. see i could see one of the favorite people winning though because ferris gonna yeah, oh yeah, yeah the favorite uh, Honestly, wise. I, rachel I'd wise might be favorite but I'm, I'm saying it's gonna be roma yeah yeah probably but if one of the favorites gonna win i'm gonna say rachel wise yeah um, right. Emma Stone like, won one so she already has one so why don't you back up yeah. Cause they fight in that movie, right? So I want to see them both fight for that award. Yeah. Uh, Just a straight up MMA fight on stage. You can do a war and you're tearing hair out and stuff. What's like, the most brutal fight I've ever seen? All right. All so right. supporting actor. Supporting actor. I I think. Uh... I know, I know he wasn't gonna win, but I would have loved to see Michael B. Jordan in here. Just, just, just it would have been cool to see. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think he hangs, but I think it would have just been really cool. To see. I really, I'm so happy to see Richard E. Grant here because I thought he was so great. Oh yeah. Me, I, mean, I will say this: I'm even more excited to see Sam Elliott here. In a, from yeah, a, yeah, I, that was a, I was a bit surprised and really happy when I saw yeah. him. Yeah. He only has a few scenes. There's that one scene at the end though. Oh, when he drives, oh, yeah. when he drives back. He backwards. doesn't even. Like, he doesn't say anything. Yeah, when he drives back. Backwards, you can see he's like yeah here yeah, it's that so was good, good. That's yeah. my I, favorite. I, I love I'm i love that for all these even sam rockwell Sa- sam rockwell was the best part of vice i thought he's the best part besides I, I i love the adam driver in here for black man adam yeah. driver was that's he, yeah. probably my personal he did so favorite good. yeah mahersha ali was really good too yeah and that scene where with with uh adam driver when he's uh inside there and he's oh yeah to, oh yeah. man yeah <laughs> yeah and then he has to act like really tough what are you, what are you gay too. what are you gay yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I need to see that again. This movie's so good. Yeah. I want to see a lot of these movies again. Like Black Panther. That, that was a movie I, I, I feel like definitely like warrants a rewatch. Yeah. I don't yeah. really want to see Vice. You never forget. He's great too. So that's the only one I haven't good. seen. Like out of all these yeah. movies being talked about, it's the only one I haven't seen. It's a small movie, but it's really good. Small movie. It's a small movie. It's like it's about one little story that's like not really that big of a deal. I mean, 
I mean, I guess it is in the art community. But uh, I'd be cool with Sam Elliott. It's not like she she went around and like made billions. You know, she just made like eight hundred dollars here, six hundred dollars there on faking like, you know, um, uh, what's uh, signatures and stuff. So yeah. on uh, fake letters that she made about like artists, it's it's good. And yeah. M- M- Melissa McCarthy, that's her name, right? Not Michelle. Yeah. I always yeah, fuck Melissa. Up, uh, Melissa McCarthy. She's really good in that movie, actually. Uh, she was, which I was surprised because I usually hate her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I always, like, I, I, I usually write off any movie she's in, but I actually, for once, really liked her in this. Yeah, I always, I always think she's good if she just doesn't do shitty comedies, like because yeah. it, 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 she's annoying. But when she does like Saint Vincent, <laughs> she was really good in. Um, she was really good in. Uh, for for the most part, she was good in uh, Bridesmaids, um, and uh, what else? Uh, that's, I guess that's the but if, whatever. And this. So there you go. That's three movies. That's good. Mahershala Ali just got so fucking dirty. He got the dirty deal in fucking Green Book because he's such a, he's such a fucking pushover. Like he's just always fucking bullied, and he always needs uh, Tony, played by Viggo Mortensen, to fucking stand up for him. It's so fucking like kind of pathetic, and I just don't think he even does that great of a performance, anyways. I thought I thought he did a great job. Uh, I thought he was good. Uh, Okay. Not saying it was bad. I just it's not my least favorite. I think Sam Rockwell is probably my least favorite. But yeah, he's still great. Wow. But for he, sure, I, I just like this. I'm like, oh hey, he's still uh, he's still relevant. But Sam Rock, no, Sam Rockwell is still great. The, the Bush impersonation was funny, but I can also see like really good. He yeah. did a really good Bush impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> but also, he wasn't in it that much, anyways. I mean, Josh Brolin do a good job. So. All right, Josh lead Brown. actress. Okay. Lead actress. Uh, Whoever played uh, the favorite, I don't remember her name. name. I mean, it's, uh, we we could say, but it's either gonna be Lady Gaga or uh, what's her name from Roma. It's gonna be yeah, the one it's gonna be, be Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman. Yeah. That's, just, that's yeah, which is funny because she was in the, she was in Hot Fuzz and stuff like. That. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm telling you. I, mean, I would like, love for Lady Gaga to win this though. Well, say say the nominees. All right, the nominees are the uh, girl from Roma. I don't know how to say her <laughs> name. I'm not even gonna try because. I don't want to offend anybody. Glenn Close, the wife, which fuck like that. That's works. stupid. That's not happening. Really I heard that movie's not that good either. I've heard her performance is great. It reminds though, me but... of what was that fucking terrible movie from Over like and a half weeks or some shit? Twenty sixteen. No, with the old broad. Uh... No, I mean, it's a number. I forgot what it is. Not for him. It's like, like, like uh, old. I don't know. That's an old title. She, like Mer- Florence Foster Jenkins. That's the movie. Oh, that, oh okay. I was thinking so. Oh, Just a terrible, so. annoying, clawing old woman performance. Stupid fucking movie. The wife looks exactly the same. I haven't heard. A, it, it looks exactly. The same. I haven't heard a damn good thing about it. It looks ter. It looks like it looks like shit. <laughs> Fuck that movie. I haven't heard a damn good thing. I haven't heard. I haven't. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> anyways, anyways, go I've on. I've only don't, seen don't... two of these. I've only seen two of these, so I can't really comment yeah. on them. Olivia Coleman, the favorite. Lady Gaga, stars born. Man, yeah, and you know what much... sucks is is specifically for these Oscars. Like last year, I remember, like whenever there was like a, a nominee that we didn't watch, we were like super eager to watch it. Like the only one that didn't care about was uh, what was that one? Uh, what, what was that one threading one? Oh, Phantom, Phantom Thread. Thread? Phantom Thread. Yeah, I, I guess the only one I didn't give a fuck about because that was like Oscar bait. Sad. Now. That's like. Yeah, no, so. I don't. I would not give a fuck. That, no, that movie's great. But yeah, uh, like that was good. Movie. Yeah, that's not my kind of movie. But um, like, the, the rest of these, like, it's the, not like, really at, like you know, like about the fashion as you think. It's more no, about know, the like, but it. But it just felt like it. It just screamed like Oscar bait, and I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling not. it. No, it's. it's it, I wouldn't say it. No, it, it's not. But I, I can see what he means. If you yeah. saw a trailer for it and it turned you off, I could understand. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. But so, but with this year, is like. There's a couple of movies I want to watch, but like nothing really stands out. Like, oh man, am I, I gotta watch that. Right am now. I the only one here who saw Roma? Yes. No, I saw it. Okay. I want to see it in the Roma theater, but good. I guess they're not bringing it in again. No, it's just mm-hmm. Netflix. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know, but they had the theater. I I saw it in a theater. They, they just was playing near yeah, me. Yeah, he saw. So uh, I wanted. AMC, I AMC's not gonna, gonna allow that. Nominated, they would put it back in a theater, but no. So I'm just gonna watch it on Netflix. Or what? Huh? I was talking. Ooh. They said no, they're going to show all eight best picture movies in AMC's. No, I yeah, that, they looked it up. And no Roma, so they fucking. Yeah, no, no, they they yeah. said Roma's not going to be at AMC. What? Piece nope. of shit. Maybe Regal. You might be thinking of Regal. No, it's not playing at Cinemark, and it's not playing at AMC. So maybe yeah, so Regal. So it might be Regal because Regal's doing the same thing. 
So if it's at Regal, then maybe maybe. Oh, I'll try why why would there be exclusivity with Regal? I don't think they, so. they don't. It's not it's not that they're not it's not exclusivity. It's that the other theaters don't want them. Again, the, it, the... It, it, no 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 no. It's it's okay. if I don't think Regal's gonna do it because I know some of the Regals are owned by AMC. So if AMC's not doing it, I don't see why some of the Regals would. They the only theaters no. playing playing Roma here in LA are are the indie art theaters, and the only reason why they do that that they put them in, in the indie art theaters in New York and LA is so that it will be uh, be allowed to get Oscar nominations. Yeah, because awesome. you have to be in a theater. Because be... it played at like one or two theaters Shit. here, so you know. Yeah. So no, I, I'll just have to. I have to watch it. And I, yeah, if you're I really gonna, want to see it in a theater. Though. If you're going to watch the movie, it should have been in a theater because the movie's very big. It's very focused on cinematography and it's very grand scale and all yeah, that Yeah, well, shit. he has a 4K TV now, so. Yeah, he's, yeah, don't, he, you don't need to I work out first. I have a 4K TV. I got my uh, beanbag chair. The, the, a theater experience will always be different. And drinks that go. don't cost $17. Yeah, yeah only sure. 18 Wait, no, <laughs> Anyways, I don't think anyone should watch the movie either because it's off. fucking boring and it's just fucking, <laughs> it's just a fucking wank oh. off fucking like a hot fucking head Alfonso head Cuarón. I've I've just realized I just do not care about the motherfucker. Didn't care about Gravity. <laughs> Children hell. of Men was like just fucking. Oh, oh, it's a theme. Watch, watch it's a your theme. Words right now. It's a theme. Watch oh, guys. I, I, oh, I, I, the post. Oh, that. guys. Immigration is good, guys. Oh my god, like. <laughs> Yeah, like that's yes, that's great. Movie. That's great like and all, but fucking hell, they... dude, you don't need to make a two-hour. Roma is so fucking pointless. It's such a pointless it's, movie. It's, it's him. It's, it's him it's, being it's, nostalgic it's, about his stupid fucking. It's like if my stupid fucking shorts were fucking Oscar nominated. It's they're not worthy of that shit. No, they're, they're very. Have, it's they're very work. pretty and all that shit. <laughs> it's fucking. It, it looks cool. <laughs> See, if this was any other year, I would, and Bohemian Rhapsody and Green Book were nominated, I would say Roma's easily my least favorite out of like a hundred million, dude. It, fuck that movie. Really? Whoa. I just don't, it just, just probably gave me one of the least, like, anything, like, the it did not give anything to me. Did not yeah. give it to me at <laughs> it all. Didn't give me one boner. It didn't. The entire movie. It didn't. It, he rates it. He's like he's like the Siskel and Ever, but he's not thumbs up, thumbs down. He's like if he got a boner or not. Probably the most emotionally. <laughs> sure. Maybe see on um, Netflix when it comes out. The Actually, most. It's on the most emotionally disconnected I felt by a movie this whole year. His rating scale is basically the start of Polar. Really? You you, you felt more emotionally connected to Happy Time Murders than Roma? yes. Because I what could, what could I say about Roma? Roma looks pretty. I can say something. Listen, listen. There's something I could say about Happy Time Murders. It's a great concept, and they just fell flat on comedy and script wise. Roma, it looks pretty. It's a great movie. It just fell flat on the movie part. Sure, Roma was pretty. <laughs> Roma right. was pretty. That's it. That's the only <laughs> thing about that movie that's Murders worth a, a motherfucker. Happy Time Murders is one of the ugliest movies of this year. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> I got more of a reaction out of Happy. I got a more re more of a reaction out of Action Point than fucking Roma. <laughs> that does and that again. Emotion. That doesn't mean it's a better movie. Not I just felt way more. I felt more about that than fucking Roma. Because he says ugh. after like five minutes of ranting about how Roma's about that right. is that gonna, is like the Roma. ultimate Oscar bait fucking movie. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch Roma and I want to see what this is. <laughs> it's fucking dude. It's so fucking boring. I like I like it's Children it's Men a lot so, though. So. Okay, uh, like Children Men is like way better though. Like I just want a little tan. He is ab Kyle's absolutely determined to get you guys to hate the movie before his you watch. his also, best I movie. Really like gravity. They're kind of making me hate the favorite before I even fucking see it. So <laughs> Alfonso Cuarón's <laughs> best movie is Harry Potter three. So. If, all right, can I just say that if Roma and Bohemian, not Bohemian, I'm sorry, if Roma and the Favorite end up sucking, then we, like we have like two, two movies that are Black Clansman, Star is Born. That's all you need, dude. Stars, that's it. Like Black Panther, I mean, it's, it's uh, fine, but whatever. Like I like Green Book, Oscar but I understand. Oh, no, dude, something. the best picture nominees this year fucking blow. Wait, hold on. Let's oh, let's yeah. go to Bye, best. Hold up, hold up. Let's go to best actor. That, yeah, let's let's knock these out because we're running late. Yeah. Um, you are late. Yeah. Lead actor, so 
uh, Christian Bale. For... This is the this is the one nominee, the one category that Bohemian Rhapsody belongs in. Sure, Bradley Cooper yeah. for Star is Born, so at least they didn't drop him completely. Willem Dafoe for at Eternity's Game. I heard he's great. I'm glad he got in there. Yeah, I love Willem Dafoe. So I'm not saying that. Rami Malik for Bohemian Rhapsody and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Hey, oh, you break my balls! I just got out of seeing Green I Book. I, I just hold on. I just got a Green Book. That is the stupidest. Right, here we go, fucking gaudy. It's like the same level as fucking gaudy when it comes to impersonating a fucking Italian American. It's fucking. It's it's fucking corny oh, as hey, fuck. Hey. Hey, I know Italians. And Bagabba the Goopia! What the fuck is that? Fucking stupid, dude. I mean, That's what he is. That is exactly what he is. Yes, calm down. They literally. Oh my. It is the most cartoonish depiction of Italian Americans ever. It's not. It's great. It sounds just like my grandpa. Okay, so hold up. Unless, unless, unless we got anything to say about Willem Dafoe. Hey, unless everyone has a hey, about Willem Dafoe, let's just bump this up to the next to the best picture. Well, who do we think's gonna like, win? We're, we're all just. Oh yeah, we didn't do that for lead actress, did we? Well, well, Olivia Coleman's gonna win. Oh, that. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then for lead actor, I think uh, Rami Bale is up there just because I feel like they like that that stupid shit where they like uh, blending into someone else. They but they I like they people. like so physical life. performance changes, yeah. right? Rem- Honestly, for me, it's it's a toss up between uh, Rami and Bradley. I, saw- I really I really love Bradley's. Yeah, yeah. So I hope he won. Uh, that's my favorite of these yeah. five. But um, I haven't seen Willem Dafoe, so I can't say that actually. But I, uh, that movie's not big Malik enough for him to win. win. I, I'm just saying that because he has so much hype going, and that's the only thing I think uh, Bohemian Rhapsody will win. But watch, it's gonna fucking sweep or some stupid shit. I, so I, if you get the best that. picture, you just <laughs> hell. Jesus Christ! It got anyway, best it's like fucking right. golden gloves. Best Let, drama. Let's, let's bump this to the best picture category because I feel like we're just ranting about the movies themselves now. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's so, Kyle, not that's us. <laughs> but you didn't really give a universal lead actor who, who we think is going. Uh, I want I, Bradley I, Cooper, but I think no, Bradley well, Cooper. So. Who, who think is going? Rami Malek's probably going to win. All, we all think it's going to be Rami, but we want Bradley. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, last one. Just, just get best picture. <laughs> All right, so best picture is Black Panther, Black Klansman, <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favorite, Green Book, Roma, Stars Born, and fucking Vice. So uh, the weakest, honestly, the weakest set of best pictures I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say this is probably the weakest I've seen since 2010. In, I want to say uh, yeah, seven or eight years at least. Yeah, there was one that was so weak. What was the, the year? The King's that, like, Speech, the... Extremely Loud, yeah. Incredibly Close. Yeah, I don't think that was the same year. It was the same year. I remember. Was it really? Okay. Well, I, like, like what, look at this for. Let, let's just recall last year. Last the Shape year. of Water. Good yeah. movie. Call me by your name. Great movie. Darkest yeah. Hour. Dunkirk. Bad movie. Get Out. Lady Bird. Phantom Thread. The Post and Three Billboards. All yeah, those are way better. Than a, five was, there were a couple of those movies that I was a big fan of, but I think they're all they're still super strong. For sure. They're all still super strong. I think. Not Dun- I think the, not a uh, uh, Darkest I think the Hour. Was there was. Darkest Hour was my least favorite That's of that. Darkest Hour more. Yeah, dark, you know, it's my least favorite, but I still think it it, it could it, it could survive think, in that category. I respect all those, and even if some of them aren't my favorite, I respect all those. Like though, that's a fucking solid year. Yeah. This is like not a fucking good this year. Is... The no. one, it's the ones that they chose because it Beale no, Street. It, it, well, yeah, I was gonna say it's a solid no, I, year. I, they just really did some shitty nominations. Yeah, yeah. they could have still thrown well, two more in there though. That's the Beale problem. Street just... and Widows should have been nominated yeah, compared to this. Yeah, whole fucking thing did it. Nope. Really? And Widows. I, is I, don't think... I, guess, I didn't really give a shit about Widows, but uh, alright. Widows was, so, was cool. so good. Widows was so good. I, I thought it was. I thought it was a movie. <laughs> Yeah, it was a movie. It was right? a movie. So, <laughs> so, uh, that's about that. That was my impression. So is it, so is Stars not, Born. What the no, fuck Stars ever. Born is a good movie. Oh yeah, that, that was, was a movie. Oh, no, They're all fucking it's movies. A... No, yeah, it's not a criticism. He's just trying to say it was just a movie and it didn't transform me in any fucking way at all. Hold on. He just. I, I, I'm surprised you guys liked it like enough. I to even really liked it. No, all of them were great. I was surprised how much I really liked. God, the all right. Isn't that... The heist, the heist. Never scene? liked Oof. any movie. The cinematography was it, fucking amazing too. It just, it felt like just a fucking 
action movie that wouldn't need to be in like it wasn't an it's a heist movie. movie. I, know, I know when it is a heist movie. I mean, but you yeah, know. Heist. Yeah, 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 I thought was, that was, was like, really well done. You it, know. it was the it didn't bring... movie that came out earlier that year, except done well. It didn't bring anything to the table for me. That that's what I'm going to. Anyways, Beale Street a hundred thousand percent should have been nominated for best picture. Oh yeah, definitely. That is yeah, abs- yeah, yeah. It is absurd that it didn't. You know what? To be honest. <laughs> I I like Black Panther, but I would have loved to switch Black Panther with Spider Man. I would love that, but that no way, no awesome. what? That that would make this list a whole lot more interesting. Would never happen. Or, um, nominated you're... animated movies before, but it would never happen anymore. For, First Reform's another one. You are never yeah. really here is another one. That was really For, good. Yeah, you're never really here is definitely not going to be a uh, Oscar. Yeah. yeah. Old yeah, Man and the not... Gun. Old Man and the Gun got shafted super hard. Yeah, Old Man and the Gun. That was really fucking good. Robert Redford was great. Robert, I'm surprised Robert Redford got so snubbed this year yeah, as well. I don't know about snubbed because the lead actors, I, all those are good. <laughs> I know you don't like he, me. Just, yeah, it was just up against a lot of good actors. Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh, oh Ethan Hawke then. Ethan Hawke, definitely. Ethan Hawke, I, 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 I will video. say... I will say, might, I'm so surprised. And you know what the reason why is? Because Ethan Hawke was just not into like promoting that movie at all. He didn't give a shit. Uh, and say, people, like, people were saying like the reason why he's probably not gonna get nominated is because Ethan Hawke was not promoting. And it. Paul Shader said some stupid shit before Oscars season. True, but yeah. I mean, look at in Rhapsody, fucking I the yeah, I guess. But it's a pedo, and uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not an excuse. So, uh, um, I will say just to go back for a second. I think uh, just kind of I pulled up my list just now on on Letterbox. Eighth grade was missing an original screenplay. Yep. I think. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Miss it didn't get and, a damn thing. Didn't get a damn and thing. For adapted screenplay, I think uh Leave No Trace belongs. Oh, somewhere. Leave No Trace, yeah. There oh, are a lot Trace better movies than the ones that's nominated. Yeah, for adapted screenplay is good, I think. Right, yeah. but I think I think Leave No Trace belongs somewhere because it was it was a really fantastic movie. I, I didn't think a, a Star is Born should have been I mean, I guess they didn't really adapt it, though. It's just a remake, and they completely did It's a remake of a remake. It's a remake of a remake that was remade, and then and there's original. There's four... Well, five... that, that's, that's what you call adapted, though. I know, but, like, it's a completely different story, though. Yeah. Like, it just took the name, you know? Like, and... Still the name and the thematic elements, though. I know, but it's just... It, it, it's, it, it's too far from, like, it's where it began emotion. that it's just... It, it's called... It's not yeah. even... A, it's It's hard to explain it. I yeah. decided saying it's something completely different. So let, it, let's. There's similarities, definitely, especially I, to the, the Streisand one, because that was oh, about yeah. that was about uh, rock, uh, rock and roll, rock and roll. Oh, but, uh, yeah, uh, but she was the stuff. only good part of that one that, for the most part. Yeah, that we suck. Bringing, bringing it back to Best Picture. That's the only Star is Born that's not good. Best, best Picture. Star is... So Black Panther, that's there for the cultural movement. And, yeah. And... That that's all it is. It's just, it's just a statement. Up. It's a statement. And, and that's fine. I think I think it still brought a lot to the table for that. But mm-hmm. it, it didn't hold me as much as other superhero movies did last year. Um, uh, but I just... think I think I like I think what was it? It was some video I saw on, on Facebook where like a little girl that was like super stoked to like have her her Black Panther. She wanted like, to fuck there. Michael B. Jordan, yeah. I, I no 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 not that one. Bang. I, I, I think I think it brought a lot to the table for for that. I think that's 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 fine. You want to throw in the best picture? That's fine. I have no problems with it's that. It's just a statement. Black, more. Black Klansman belongs there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Black Klansman. Bohemian Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Honestly, that was one of my favorite movies of last year. Yep. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody does not belong there. The favorite. Half the categories. I don't like it, don't but like I get it. it. I can get see it. it. So it I does belong. It. There, yes, it belongs yes. there. Green Book. Green Book, I can't say. Uh, Roma, I, I can't say. No, Roma definitely belongs there. So, Roma definitely. Green yeah. Book yeah. is, hold on, just real quick. Green Book is a really antiquated fucking movie. It feels like it came out 19 fucking 92 or something. It, it's the driving Miss Daisy of now. I mean, yeah. and that's not because it's a similar premise. It really is because it's that's exactly what it is. But it's a, just like driving Miss Daisy, it's an entertaining movie. I can't say like I wasn't entertained. I I'm not going to sit here and go and pretend like I'm not going to sit here and act like I was uh, bewitched by it. Like, oh, it was so great. I loved every moment. I liked every moment, but I'm not going to sit here and say it's the it's the best thing ever. It's a really entertaining movie, I think. The so. fucking the white guy, the the white guy in the movie, because there's the white guy and the black guy, and the white guy's like, don't you like fried chicken? 
He's like, he does that shit. And it's like, what the fuck is this? That's supposed to be him being racist. Yeah, yeah, he's supposed to be racist. Yeah. And at the end, he's like, oh, I'm not racist anymore, guys. That's fucking, that's just a stupid right. fucking bad oh, whatever. But I, I, I can see it being Oscar nominated. Let's go. Okay, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I, I gotta take off in a bit. <laughs> we we went way too long, so let, let's talk. Okay, so Vice we already mentioned this a lot. A lot. No. This does not fucking belong here. No, no. Uh, but I understand why it is. I'm not gonna say I no. I, it I, doesn't belong there, but I get it. Yeah, that, yeah. that's where I stand. Stars, stars born. Definitely. This, this is like. Yeah. A uh, star is born in Black Klansman, and it just in my eyes, because I get the favorite belongs there too in Roma. But yeah. like in my eyes, those are two. Are like yeah, I, if I was picking my own list, I'd throw those two up there. Star is born is my favorite of these, but I would be extremely happy if Black Klansman won because yeah. I have a feeling yeah. I, I have a feeling it's not gonna win anything. I mean, we know Star is born is probably gonna win the song. Oh, Black Klansman, the song best picture, and the uh, really cool. what was the yep. original score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yeah. and and maybe maybe screenplay. I don't know. That might go to another movie though. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a feeling the favorite's gonna be the winner. Yeah, no, favorite's gonna win. But I love if Black Klansman won. That'd be dope. Yep. But the thing is that we always say like the obvious one, like a month before the Oscars happen, and then by the time the Oscars actually do happen, it's completely changed. The like, only last year, last year, what was the obvious, the one we uh, everyone Lady thought? Bird. Yeah, no, uh, Get Out, Get Out, I think, right? No, not get no out. I did not. Get, think no, get hold out. on, Get Out was like getting a shit ton of hype, like oh shit, oh I shit, can... this is gonna be it. Oh, it I can promise. Hype, but we didn't think it was gonna. No, be I had no fucking. That, that that was me and Gore's like hopeful pick. Lady Bird wasn't gonna get fucking win. Three before. billboards. Yeah, I think last oh, year. Oh, we three, three billboards. Yeah, be. That's okay. I'm saying that like I thought, I, I thought it was three billboards, and then Lady Bird like was no. gonna be three like six. Six. So like the day of the Oscars, everybody's saying it's gonna be three billboards. It's definitely gonna win. It won at the Golden Globes, I think, for best drama. Yeah. We still didn't. No, even when Shape of Water got called out, we were we were shocked. Yeah, yeah Shape of Water. I was like, what? <laughs> it was like it won yeah. for best. I was like, okay, so they're gonna give it to director and then they're going to give something else best picture that's how they usually do it but not that year that year i wouldn't so i wouldn't even put shape of water like in top three of what i would have thought i would have nope. thought that's like thought the bottom billboard. i would have thought three billboards ladybird and calling by your name would have been top i, I thought okay. shape of water had a chance but not I, like not even close to as yeah. much as three billboards and ladybird and some of these other ones that, yeah like i had like it was like fifth place of those so i mean Shows. our predictions for that i i think I Not think the favorite's gonna win, but I think Roma has a chance. God, yeah, I'm just... I, I personally think it's gonna end up being. being uh, <laughs> I think Roma. I think, second. Roma. I think the four possible are A Star Is Born, Roma, The Favorite, and Black Clansman. Those are the Black four possible. Do you think I'm really fucking worried that Bohemian Rhapsody might it, well, fucking I don't win? Think it will. You you I say think that. I, I think... You say that. You say I think... that. You you say that, but do you say but, that? But, but but check this out though. Even so, <laughs> I think I think a lot of I think a lot of reaction coming behind the director in there no. would fucking. I I think that's gonna no. that they there's oh, a reason wait. he's not he, there's a reason he's not he's not in director. Yeah, but they but they'll but they'll try to like disassociate like yeah we didn't give him director they but so, the movie they, was every great. Time they, every time it won something, which it's won something like fucking about twenty times at this point from different yeah. shows. Every time they come up and they, I, do, I want to thank this person, this person, this person, this person, everybody. No, no mention ever of singer. Yeah, because I mean, he's a pedo. The, yeah, uh, the idea like, those, those is he got like, fired. But he, but, but he I, don't, I don't think those are significant enough. If that wins, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Yeah. If, if it don't, I still won't be surprised. If <laughs> fucking Bohemian Rhapsody, Green Book, or Vice wins, I'm just gonna be like, dude, I'm fucking out of here, dude. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd be pretty high the Black yeah. Panther one, dude. No if one Black Panther one movie, Best Picture, I'd be fucking hyped. I think it's I, sad. I'd be hyped. If, if Black Panther, yeah. honestly, I would be, I hated Black Panther one because just the the fucking shit show that would follow oh, on like social oh, media and that would just be an endless fucking all, nightmare all these for like DC a month. fanboys that were holding that Oscar ahead of us. Oh, we got you guys. No, it's not even that. Oh. It's like it's all the it's it's just how it's become it becomes such a fucking. I mean, it already has, but it's just gonna escalate to even more of how much of a race thing no, the movie know, is, but... and oh, it's just I don't, I, I don't want to deal with that again. I I don't know if I'd say that because I think Get Out and Black Clansman have to say too. I just, I think I think it doesn't matter. I I have a feeling <laughs> Avengers is going effects. Oh, because uh, Thanos, cute boy. 
Uh, All right. No. On that note. Hold on. I. On that. No, I it, gotta go, it, dude. We oh, we got six man. minutes. Come yeah, on. You don't have seven. You don't fucking. It, we have to get. We have to get six minutes to the top of the hour. It doesn't mean shit. What, what do you want to say? I am I the only one who has seen all eight? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I wait, think there, it's there, really moment. Kyle over here so only of the shit. Like, I like how you point that out, even though like we've said multiple times throughout this. I haven't seen this movie. I haven't seen this movie. Seen this movie. <laughs> favorite. Hey I've guys, seen... let me just reiterate. I haven't seen all these. And you guys have. Oh no, you know what? I did see Roma. Hold up. All right, let's go back. No, let's go back. <laughs> no. God, the thing I said in C4. I just want to say this year is so weak that a fucking superhero movie, which I do not fucking like, is in my t- is 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 in the upper half of my of the ones nominated. Right. And that's you're, you're fucking a, sad. You're a, that also doesn't mean anything. That could just yeah, it mean does. it was a really good superhero movie. I'm just saying that the Logan other four was nominated for a picture last year, but it didn't. Black Panther did though. Yeah. If Logan was black. All right. On that note, <laughs> next week we're, we're talking about Fire, Banner, Sad, wow. Serenity again, and again, and Lego Movie that, Two. That was a disaster. We'll probably just we're just gonna spoil Lego Movie Two. Yeah, like Goodbye. Movie. Fuck off. Bye. <laughs> Say something funny, Gore. Uh, blow me. <laughs> <laughs>